my name is Wanur Ala Elina binti Muhammad Zaidi with the matrix number 212425. So, I will start with the introduction. What is cultural services? Cultural services is the non-material benefits people obtain from ecosystem through spiritual enrichment, cognitive development, reflection, recreation, and aesthetic experience, including cultural diversity, spiritual and religious values, knowledge system, and much more. Next, I will explain more about ecotourism. Okay, ecotourism can be defined as responsible travel to natural areas that conserve the environment, sustain the well-being of the local people, and involves interpretation and education. Such traveling can be created thanks to an international network of individual, individual institution and the tourism industry where tourists and tourism professionals are educated on ecological issues. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone. My name is Farah Haika binti Muhammad Fairis and my matrix number is 211060. Today, I'm going to present to you how cultural service provide the services in tourism. Tourism represents a major opportunity and nexus for managing the interaction between ecosystem and people, including the development of a constituency that appreciate and supports protection of ecosystems. First, cultural services provide outdoor recreation such as camping, flying fox, jungle trekking, canopy walking, and others. These services offer an opportunity for many people to experience the benefits of cultural service directly. This applies particularly to people living in urban environments where contact with natural or semi-natural ecosystem is often limited as based on the economics of ecosystem and biodiversity which notes that its classification largely follows the one in the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment defined two subcategories of cultural ecosystem service which are spiritual, religious, aesthetic, inspirational and sense of place, recreation, ecotourism, cultural heritage and educational service. It argues that the distinction was due to a different approach in evaluation assessments for each group. Tourism is more amenable to traditional evaluation approaches. In the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment classification, tourism and recreation are assumed to have the same meaning whereas the economics of ecosystems and biodiversity distinguish different meanings regarding the two terms which recreation is placed in a group which mental and physical health. Thus, green space allow people to exercise despite of living in concrete surroundings. It also improves environmental conditions, promotes outdoor recreational spaces and active lifestyle. And pro last but not least, it also protects biodiversity by creating wildlife habitat. Thank you. My name is Yu Jingwen. My matrix number is 211250. Now I'm going to talk about the negative impacts that tourism brings about. First of all, the land conversion for tourism. The average rate of expansion of international tourism is 3 to 4% per year, and it will require more and more land to be converted for the use of tourism. This will result in the loss of biodiversity and affect the biodiversity in surrounding areas. For instance, the free movement of animals at that particular area is disrupted and might cause the fragmenting of animal population. Most of the world's tourism are in the area that contain high proportion of sensitive ecosystems such as coastal and mountain region. Next is the climate change due to the expansion of tourism. Some of the climate problems that arises are change in rainfall patterns and change in temperature like global warming and greenhouse effect. This is because tourism produces around 8% of global carbon dioxide emission. From this 8% of carbon dioxide, 70% of them comes from the transportation of tourism included air and ground transport, while 21% are from the accommodation. Overexploitation is also one of the negative impacts that caused by tourism. For example, the global fish stock. Most of the world fisheries have been damaged by overfishing. Tourism sector has high demand on natural resources, for instance, food, especially meat and seafood, materials for luxury items, 
and large land area for sport or recreation purpose. Hi everyone, I'm Wafa Maisara Binti Jaini and my metric number is 212583. Now I will continue on the negative impact of tourism. Firstly, change or loss of identity and values, which can relate to the local people's attitude toward money. For example, a country or state there is the focus of a tourist vacation spot. Usually, its local will be leaving their country and work abroad became hardworking and thrifty. They save money to send back to their home's country because their family were largely relying on their outside earning. However, when their money climb and their living conditions improve, local individuals develop an interest in material pursuits. Indirectly, they become ostentatious and forget their own tradition with external influence and culture. Next is pollution. Tourism, like any other industry, can contribute to pollution in following ways. Air pollutants, noise, solid waste and littering, sewage and oil and chemical spills, and even architectural visual pollution. For example, noise pollution from airplanes, car and buses, as well as recreational vehicles like snowmobiles and jet skis are a modern issue. It's not only a noise, stress, and even causes hearing loss in humans, but it also causes anxiety in wildlife, particularly in sensitive places. Another example is solid waste and littering. When trekking visitors generate a lot of rubbish in mountain places, tourists on expedition leave waste, oxygen cylinders, and even camping equipment behind. Another example is aesthetic pollution, which frequently happen when tourism fails to combine its structures with the destination natural elements and indigenous architecture. Large resorts with dissimilar architectural styles may appear out of place in a natural setting and may clash with indigenous structural architecture. In numerous destinations, a lack of land use planning and construction rules has permitted expensive developments along coastline, valleys, and picturesque roads. And lastly, disturbance of wildlife. Numerous animals and plant species are susceptible to human-caused disturbance. For example, trampling damage and sometimes completely destroy flora in mountains and coastal dune system, exposing them to erosion danger. Animals can be harmed in a variety of ways by tourist tourism disturbance. For example, cheetahs are less successful at hunting when there are a lot of tourists and tourist vehicles around. Other examples is lights in hotel adjacent to turtle nesting beaches can confuse hatchlings and prevent them from finding their way to the sea. And the last one is coral are susceptible to accidental damage by scuba divers. Disturbance also affects the breeding success of the majority of species, but some, such as those found in urban areas, are less vulnerable than others. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Shahidah Najma binti Muhammad Syakawi and my metric number is 211680. Okay, next we proceed to the solution based on our problem. First is land conversion. Evaluating land resources, even where information is already available, particularly about soils and climate, other aspects may call for surveys and inventories to be made. Identifying the causes of land misuse. A variety of causes may be identified such as growing the wrong crop on the wrong land, the land tenure system, the pricing structure for agricultural products. Secondly is climate change. Air pollution prevention. Many methods exist to prevent, control and reduce air pollution in, particul in particular by reducing the consumption of fossil fuels and limiting industry emissions and waste. Renewable energies, changing our main energy sources to clean and renewable energy such as solar, wind, geothermal and biomass. Okay, lastly is over exploitation. Avoid single-use plastics, reducing our plastic use, help us avoid the use of the resources needed to make plastic and prevent plastic waste from harming the natural environment. Reduce food waste, keeping track of the food you have planning meals and shopping trips ahead of time and properly storing food can help reduce food waste at home. That's all from me. Thank you. For the conclusion, we need to appreciate every detail found in the ecosystems on this earth and we should not neglect to the point of running the richness of ecosystem because Muhammad Gandhi once said, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs but not every man's greed. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.